What is up guys, Ryan here, and in today's Photoshop Creative Cloud tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create and use actions within Photoshop. Um, now I'm pretty sure that all the Adobe Photoshops have this uh, tool, and essentially what actions are, they are, um, you record yourself doing uh, a certain number of steps, and say you use a certain style, or um, want to just record something so you don't always have to repeat it steps over and over again, and pretty much what you can do is you play it over again and it will automatically create uh, your style or layer or whatever you want for you. Um, it's a really cool tool and a lot of people don't use it and I feel like that it's it can one maximize your work time and two it just overall helps um, speed things up and stuff like that. Uh, now I'm going to be use, uh, copying pixel arts uh, t um, shadow tutorial. I'm just going to be pretty much going off that and uh, we're pretty much just gonna um, create a shadow, um, kind of like, uh, oh, let's, let me see it, kind of like, I can find it, kind of like that right there, and we're just gonna create an action for that, and uh, yeah, it's really simple. So let's jump into Photoshop, and as you can see here, I have this picture here, uh, just to show you an example. So I have my Actions tab uh, open already, but if you do not have it open, you can either go to Windows and go to Actions, or you can go to, or uh, hit F, Alt, F9. Um, so I right, right now, I want to add the shadow to this picture. So I have the picture selected, and I go over here to uh, Warp Shadow, which is uh, something I already made, and I'll teach you guys how to make that in just a second. So if I want to add that shadow effect to this picture, all we have to do is go down here and hit Play, and as you can see, it plays out, we want to rasterize the layer because that's what it does, and as you can see, it made our shadow. All we have to do is um, bring our top layer uh, below our image, and there you go, you can see it added our shadow. And like I said, this is a really cool tool, and a lot of people don't use it, so let's, um, jump, in and let's jump into this and get started. So now that we have our new document set up, what we're going to do is we're going to unlock our background layer, double click, unlock it, and we're going to add a color overlay. So we'll go to color overlay and we're going to add a grayish white like so that looks pretty good. Hit OK, hit OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our actions. Like I said, if actions is not open, go to windows and go down to actions or hit alt F9. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this and hit OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and create a new folder or group. We're going to call this um, actions or tut v1 hit ok and what we want to do is now we want to go down here and hit the new layer button or create new action and we're going to call this uh, warp uh, shadow and hit enter and once we hit enter you can see down here that it's now recording um, our scene so now this is important that you know what you're doing and you don't mess up so to create this effect what we're going to do is we're just going to go and grab a rectangle tool and we're going to hold shift and drag it out like so and just center it up and what we're going to do is we're going to go change the color go to color overlay and we're going to make it white hit ok hit ok and what we're going to do we're going to change layer we're going to call this top and hit enter and we're going to duplicate this layer Hit OK, we're going to call this a bottom, hit enter, and we're going to change the color overlay to a lightish gray, hit OK, and OK, and we're going to drag that below our top layer, and we're going to hold down the arrow button on our keyboard down to right about there. The next thing we want to do is we want to right click on this, and we're going to rasterize the layer and then we're going to convert it to a smart object. Once that is done, we want to go up here and hit Control T on our keyboard, right click on our um, square, and go to Warp. We're going to grab the center here, hold Shift while we do it so we get a perfect uniform scale, and uh, we're going to go right about there, hit Enter, to deselect, and then we're going to go up here to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We're going to uh, put the radius to about 6, hit enter and OK, and as you can see, we have our shadow. Now we are done our actions and we are done, and as you can see in our actions tab, 
we have all of our layers selected right here and what is done. So to stop our animation or stop um, the action to recording, we just go down here and hit the stop button. And as you can see, now it is done. So we can close our actions clip. And to see our thing in action, what we want to do is we can hit play. Or hold on, nope, my mistake. I'm going to go here to warp shadow. And we can go to our top layer, hit play. And you can see it plays out and uh, makes our new layer. So, um, like I said, this is a really um, amazing. Whoops, let me go back. This is a really amazing tool that a lot of people do not use within Photoshop and it's something that um, I feel like more people should uh, start using because it, want, it just saves a lot of time and it's a really cool tool. Stars made